Good. Good afternoon. Does everybody uh, speak Cree here? Understand Cree? Okay, for those of you that don't, I prefer uh, talking in Cree. Okay, the last one, Jesus now, the GI here, as we saw him Give my Jesidan out now and Stuego. Inspire Hope Youth Conference 2016. Mr. Nuiden, the Naskma Alex, and the interim youth grand chief, the CNYC board, for the invitation and uh, the recognition for my years of service. I am uh, truly honored. Before uh, I begin, uh, I'd like to uh, briefly introduce myself. Squeeze my law. As you know, my, my name is Andrew Nipash. For those of you that don't, don't know me, I'm from Miss Disney. I'm blessed with a beautiful family, married to Ruby Tanush in nine, 1999. We have two beautiful children, Johnny, 17, and uh, Rosie, 15. We may go out now. Okay, uh, this time, guy, here, we done. Guy, here, and an ask me on. Like, I have a, I have a lot of faith in a higher power, and uh, a lot of times during my. Uh, my tenure as a, a director of youth and uh, during the uh, formative years of uh, CNYC. Musa Chitunga, there was always a verse that I recited during trying times or every, ten, every time we uh, took upon a new initiative. And this verse, I'd like to uh, share with you. It's that in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. This verse has helped me during trying times in my personal and work life. And it's good, my noga. I must say, uh, I am a, a very simple and a humble man. I'm uh, very down to earth, e easy to uh, communicate with. Guys, I've been here. I was a director. In all my work life, I never wore a suit. <laughs> I just thought uh, I'd mention that. That's why you don't see me with a, a two piece or three piece suit. <laughs> Okay, um, we're going to get down here. Much go here, go, go, we some gun. Did you do she not know? Yeah, before I accepted the invitation for the uh, recognition of years of service, I, uh, I had a, lo a lot to think about. Because I, I don't usually take compliments very well. I don't take credit for achievements that I was paid to do, or for that matter, accept recognition for years of service. Mugmag, uh, I, I thought, uh, I guess it's better to be recognized while I'm still alive than at my funeral. <laughs> so I sw swallowed my pride and here I am today. Okay, just a brief background on my involvement with youth. It's with my dog, how I got started. I was elected at the local youth council in Miss Disney in 1988. I served as a vice chairman from 88 to 1990 and was on the youth council for uh, 
for the other two years, 90 to 92. During my, uh, during uh, 1988 and 90, I started getting involved at the original level with, uh, with the uh, Council of Cree Youth, this uh, committee had representatives from all the uh, Cree communities. And uh, they're, they're, I got involved at regional level in the discussions and works leading up to the establishment of the Cree Nation Youth Council and the creation of the CRA Youth Department. From there on, I continued my involvement to at the uh, local and regional levels to advocate and advance the youth movement. In 1996, I was hired as the Director of Youth Development and served 18 years in this capacity until 2014 when it decided to part ways as a result of the uh, restructuring. During my time, I have crossed paths with many and made acquaintance with many people whom have moved on to more challenging careers, including elders whom have taught me to respect and honor our Cree way of life. I sat in the same meeting with past leaders that negotiated the James Bay and Northern Quebec Agreement and some have uh, gone on to the uh, spirit world. And these people have, uh, I have the utmost respect. Uh, they have helped me, they have helped uh, shape my uh, career to be where I am today. My commitment to working with uh, and for young people has been very rewarding, to say the least. I have devoted most of my work life, say 26 years, working with young people, from coordinator, to, coordinator of summer programs, youth development coordinator, director of youth development, and other works in between. I found my passion working with young people and chose to dedicate my work life in the area of youth development. Working for youth can be very challenging. It's not always easy with the high turnover in the workplace, people staying only for a few years or considering the youth department or youth council more as a stepping stone. But f for me, like I said, I had a passion and love where, where I worked. Like the, uh, some of the other challenges could be limited support from leadership for funding, social issues, including high rate of suicide, which affects your personal life. There were times that I wanted to move on, find an easier job, but my passion always won over for me to stay a bit longer working with youth. Today, I work as Director of Human Resources for my community, the Cree Nation of Miss Disney, I credit much of my success in my involvement in youth development, both at the local and regional levels. I have gained a lot of work experience here, and I believe this passion will help me in my new career. In closing, I want to thank once again Alex for the invitation and the CNYC board and for the uh, recognition for years of service. I commend you for your hard work and dedication. For all the youth delegates here, I encourage you to find your passion 
and dedicate your time and energy on fulfilling this passion. I encourage you to keep coming to these conferences organized for you, because one day you may be the next youth grand chief like Alex or a Stacy Bear. Thank you for the many wonderful years. Thank you, CNYC, for the many wonderful years. And all the best to you in the Inspire Youth Conference. Miigwech. God bless you all. Okay, I'm just to uh, give a brief history, brief history on uh, CNYC. I like to call it a brief history on CNYC 101. 1985, I have the was the International Year of Youth, and uh, at that time, the uh, Grand Council Grand Council of the Crees funded the first youth conference here in Wemenji. And the first conference, the uh, conference was uh, co-hosted by, co-chaired by Romeo Sagnash, who is now an MP for the Government of Canada, and Paul Gull, a former Chief of Waswampi and uh, former Deputy Grand Chief. The highlight of this conference was to uh, create the Cree Regional Youth Council to serve as a training camp for future Cree leaders. In 1987, the Grand Council General Assembly adopted a resolution calling on the Cree Regional Authority to immediately establish the planning and development of a youth department. In 1987, a task force was established by the Grand Council and the task force recommended the creation of a youth department within the CRA fully dedicated to addressing the issues, youth issues. Further, the objective, structure, and implementation of the new department would involve youth directly. And each community should have its own youth council in accordance with objectives and structures determined by the youth in each community. The uh, communities started to establish the uh, local youth councils in after the uh, 1985 assembly, or after the first uh, youth conference here in Wemenji. Other communities already had youth committees, but most of them started in 1985 during that period to 1990. And in 1988 to 1990, this is where I started getting involved at the uh, regional level. A committee was established as the James Spay Cree Youth Implementation Committee. Paul Gull was the spokesperson and the committee was represented by two members from each community. The committee recommended the uh, pro proposed youth department and the Cree Nation Youth Council or Cree Regional Youth Council as it was known first. 1990, in March 1990, the, uh, the committee led by Paul Gall presented their recommendations and budget to create a youth department under the auspices of the Grand Council Cree Regional Authority. 
including the role and mandate of the Cree Regional Youth Council. The recommendations of the committee were subsequently approved and the youth department was created, which opened its doors for operation in April 1990. 1990, first youth assembly, annual youth general assembly was held in Sicily. 1992, name change of the Cree Regional Youth Council. The delegates adopted a resolution to change the name of the Cree Regional Youth Council to the Cree Nation Youth Council. 1995, title of youth grand chief adopted. In the first uh, 10 years, the uh, title of the uh, youth or the leader was spokesperson or chairperson. And in 1995, it was changed to youth grand chief chairperson. In 1998, San Jose had its first general elections. Before then, from 1990, the uh, spokesperson, chair, or youth grand chief was appointed at a youth assembly. Oh, I'm missing a few pages. They didn't print out. Okay, Agnes Scotland, the bad one at the Stacy. Ah, Stacy. After me, it's hard to get the bad one started. No, Agnes. It was uh, good to be here. Although I'm very, I'm very tired from, uh, I did about 2,500 kilometers of traveling this week to be here. <laughs> not, not just to be here, but uh, other uh, work commitments. And I'm very grateful to be here today. Thank you. God bless you all.